Senator Tom Cotton, good morning, sir. How are you? Doing well, doing well. How are you doing today? Doing very well. National Security Advisor Michael Flynn resigning. What are your concerns about that situation and any sensitive information he might have shared? Well, uh, you know, Michael Flynn served our country for many decades in uniform, so I want to thank him for his service uh, first. Um, he, you know, as he wrote, he had lost the confidence of the president and the vice president, and that's an essential part of that role. Um, I, I requested this, this transcript that supposedly exists between uh, Mr. Flynn and the Russian ambassador as part of the inquiry we're conducting on the Intelligence Committee. I hope that we'll be able to see that soon. It does not seem like there's going to be any smoking guns based on the public reporting, and it's not inappropriate, of course, for an incoming national security advisor to have conversations with the ambassadors uh, from other countries. But really, we need to let the facts lead us to where they will and shouldn't uh, be jumping to conclusions. Um, now, I would say if, to the president, if he were to ask, that he should be looking for someone who you know has relatively low profile, low key, is going to facilitate the National Security Council conversations between his very strong cabinet, people like Jim Mattis and Rex Tillerson and Mike Pompeo and John Kelly, someone in the mold of Brent Scowcroft under Bush 41 or Stephen Hadley under Bush 43. Should, be, uh, should there be an investigation into Michael Flynn? Uh, well, on the Senate Intelligence Committee, on which I sit, uh, we have already uh, underway an inquiry not just into the hacking of the emails of the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton's campaign chair, but more broadly, all of Russia's activities uh, trying to influence public opinion or to influence the election last year. Uh, this is not a new inquiry. This is something on which we've had many hearings uh, on the Intelligence Committee over the last two years because it's something that Russia has been doing not just in the United States but throughout the Western world for many years. Uh, this is not a surprise. This is not new. This is simply standard operating procedure for Russia. We need to make sure that we follow the facts where they take us and that we take the Russian uh, threat seriously. Uh, Senator Tom Cotton, is what happened with Michael Flynn last night uh, new information that adds to that inquiry? So the resignation itself is not. Um, I, I think it's appropriate for us to uh, try to examine what conversation may have happened between Mr. Flynn and the Russian ambassador. I, again, it's not uncommon for an incoming uh, administration officials to uh, be discussing matters with a uh, ambassador. Uh, obviously, there have been leaks into the media, which I, I don't think are appropriate. But since those leaks have occurred, and we now know that this transcript exists, uh, I've requested that it be released to the Intelligence Committee so we can review it as part of our inquiry. New Acting Security Advisor, retired Lieutenant uh, General Joseph Keith Kellogg, Jr. What do we know about him? Keith Kellogg is a Vietnam veteran. He commanded the 82nd Airborne. He, too, has a distinguished career. Um, I have confidence that he will keep the ships uh, moving over there uh, as the president decides whether to keep him permanently in that role or to uh, appoint a new national security advisor. Um, you know, again, I think the, the, the National Security Council works best when the national security advisor is an honest broker and make sure that the cabinet secretaries and the vast expertise and uh, experience that they, their departments bring to bear are all heard, so that the State Department, the Department of Defense, the intelligence community, Homeland Security, Treasury, Justice, and so forth, all have a fair chance to present their perspective and their unique knowledge and expertise uh, and have a uh, debate uh, with the president uh, internally about the right policy and then for the president to decide. So, so if the president uh, is thinking about the kind of person he wants to choose for the national security advisor, not a particular person, but just the kind of person with the kind of experience and skill sets, I'd be looking for that kind of person. Senator Tom Cotton, uh, North Korea testing another ballistic missile, uh, saber rattling or something more serious here? Well, North Korea is trying to develop uh, intercontinental missiles that can strike the United States. They already hold at risk the tens of thousands of troops that we have in South Korea and Japan and Guam, uh, as well as American citizens in places like the Pacific Islands and Hawaii and Alaska and some of the West Coast. Um, they have nuclear warheads uh, that they can try to put on those missiles. So every test uh, that North Korea undertakes is very serious because it's allowing them to perfect their technology. This is one reason why it's so important that we deploy the theater ballistic missile defenses uh, that South Korea has requested and the Obama administration approved and the Trump administration recently recommitted itself to. It's also why the president's summit uh, with uh, Prime Minister Abe 
from Japan was so important because Japan really is a linchpin in our, uh, in our security alliances in Eastern Asia and why it's important that we continue to put more pressure on China to try to rein in North Korea since they're one of the few countries that has any kind of influence uh, in North Korea. Senator, you've also had a chance to meet with Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch. Uh, what are your impressions of him? Had a, we had a very good meeting. I think Judge Gorsuch uh, will make a great Supreme Court justice. I think he understands the role of the judge is to be an independent authority, but not to substitute his policy preferences for the decisions made by the people's elected representatives. As he said in his statement the night he was nominated, any judge who always likes the outcome he reaches is probably not a very good judge, because in our system of government, the people created our Constitution, and their elected representatives write the laws. Judges do not do that. They simply interpret and apply them. I think Judge Gorsuch will be faithful to that knowledge, or to that view of a judge. Senator Tom Cotton, thank you for your time today. Thanks. Good to be on with you. Thanks so much. 746 News Radio 1029 KRN.